Morning. This is Nita and Miss Panda with the Timepiece Garden. And I've got stuff to do today inside, which is, I kind of planned it that way. So I did a lot of wood yesterday. So I'd be a little stiff and wouldn't have to be outside in the heat, which is awesome. But one of the things that I have planned today, my driveway points due south. Which means my Jeep acts like an American sun oven if you've ever seen it. It will dry um, herbs and veggies as long as they're no more than a quarter of an inch cut. Um, so on this tray you have uh, garlic chives and Anaheim peppers. And on the other tray I have regular chives and nata pino peppers, which is a jalapeno with no heat. Um, it's already warm outside and it is you know getting warm in the Jeep and the sun's not even on them yet. Um, but when the sun kicks in... It will, it'll dry them out really fast, which is a good thing, because um, that way I can go ahead and, and, you know, stock up on spices that I like in the wintertime. I love a good, you know, steak, onions, mushrooms, and peppers. But to do that, you got to have peppers type thing. So I'll use it as a spice routinely. Um, so anyway, it's just a cookie sheet um, with some parchment paper on it to keep stuff from sticking. And then, you know, quarter of an inch cut. Um, I do put a towel down on my dash, so if the cookie sheet gets hot, it does not, you know, heat or crack my dash. But, um, you know, I'll show you pictures when I'm done. It's an awesome way to fast dry herbs. I can hang them in the bathroom, but being that I have the air conditioning on in the house, not in the heat. Not that, not the heat of winter. Does that make sense? That it, the, um, it's better to just dry them in the Jeep. So that's what I'm doing. You know, laundry, vacuuming. All the other household things that I got to do. Okay. Panda's chewing on a frisbee. Because it's hers and she can. Alrighty, having said that, it's time for me to go inside and get busy. So I will talk at you later. Good afternoon. So we're on day two. Um, so the peppers, they dried well, but they didn't dry completely dry. Um, the, the chives, both the garlic chives here and the regular chives over on that side are, are a great dry. I can, I can grind them up into a powder right now if I wanted to. They're that dry. But the, the peppers weren't quite that dry. So I'm going to let them stay outside for another day. Um, you know, so they get dry the way they need to. All right, talk to you later. Morning. This is Nita with the Timepiece Garden. And I just need you to know my Jeep smells like drying herbs. I can smell the, the, the chives and the peppers. God, it's making me hungry. <laughs> All right, well, I'm off to the gym. So I will talk at you later. Afternoon. This is Nita with a timepiece garden, and yes, we have been painting today. And the focus is actually on the fish. And if you look, none of them are green. So now I'll get closer so you can see some of the details. Um, yes, I did some work on the octopus when I needed to let shades in the the fish dry. Well, we start with the, the basic three. Um, background fish are done. You can see he's not yellow, but he is yellow, but not yellow. Um, he's a background fish. This fish is casting shadow. Not a lot of shadow, but enough to you to see that he's background. Um, and then you can see where I got all the circle dots done. Um, I did not get all the solid dots done. So I still have octopus to do. Lots of solid dots and to include his head, which is all solid dots. Um, but I did circle dots when I was waiting for paint to dry. You know, such a fun thing. But when you look at the fish, um, that's the front fish, that's the behind fish, and he's got shadow. And this is the front fish, and this is the behind fish. He's got a little bit of light that shines through right there in between those two fishies. Otherwise, he's also in shadow. This one is, is directly behind him, completely in shadow. 
And then this one, he's got fish in front and fish behind, so his top shows, but his bottom is in shadow. So, uh, you know, you pull back out just a little. Sorry, let me get the camera to focus. And, um, there you go. You can see, you know, shadow fishies. Anyway, pull back so you can see them all. Because when they're together in a group now, it truly looks like a school of fish. At least I think it does. You know? So now, I think when I, uh, I've not done their eyes yet, um, and I'm gonna have to do that soon, because I've got their eyes, and the octopus eyes. You know? Just some eyes that I need to get done. So I'm gonna end up having to take the black and fill a little cup like this, because yeah. that seems to work. That way the, the main quart or gallon doesn't dry out while I'm doing a bunch of small details like the red, um, the red dots. Um, I was drying out the entire can. So I you know, mixed it up well, put some in a little, it's just a little like sauce cup, um, but it's worked perfect. That way I don't, I don't dry this out. Hey, I dry that out, which is awesome. Truly, it works well. So, but everything's coming along. I just like the way the fish have turned out. All right, with that, I will talk to you later.